I'm going to read how does the toothpaste get into the tube. Author, Rita Prasad. Illustrator, Rajiv E. Pei. The year was 1870, New London, Connecticut, United States, 7 a.m. Kids were tumbling out of bed, their mothers hurrying them to clean their teeth, handing them tooth sticks and jars of toothpaste. What did I just say? Tooth sticks? <laughs> That's right, they used tooth sticks. To clean their teeth back in 1930, a tooth stick was simply a twig with a frayed end. Some lucky kids had twigs with bow hair tied to one end for that extra shine. And what was that other thing I said? Jars of toothpaste? <laughs> That's right, toothpaste tubes were not invented yet. They only had jars. And every bleary eyed kid started her day by dipping a tooth stick into a porcelain jar filled with toothpaste. Actually, into the same porcelain jar that every other member of the family dipped their tooth stick into, including that visiting grand aunt with yellow and black. The whose tooth stick matched her teeth. One morning, a disgusted cry went up on a dentist's house. <coughs> it was Dr. Sheffield's son, Lucius, who refused to dip into the jar anymore and decided to use tooth powder henceforth. But a thought remained in his mind. There must be a better way to use tooth Hey. A few years later, Lucius went to Paris to study the science of dentistry. There he saw artists squeezing paint from metal tubes onto their paint brushes. Why couldn't the same type of tube used to hold toothpaste? He rushed back home and shared his idea with his father, who thought that it was just totally awesome. There was just that little matter of figuring out how to get the toothpaste from a jar into the tube. Through that little opening, how do you think Lucius could fill toothpaste into an empty tube? Have you had a bad morning when you squeezed way too much paste in your half sleep? Set, and you see that there are toothpaste all over the sink and your mother is reminding you that the school bus will be at the doorstep in 20 minutes and the last thing you want is for her to flip when she sees the mess you've made. How would you go about putting the toothpaste back into the tube? Now, what do you think Lucius and his father used to fill a tube with toothpaste? A earbud or a really tiny spoon? A toothpick? Hmm, it was not as messy as you'd expect because the way Dr. Sheffield and his team did it was without opening the cap. That's right, they kept the cap screwed on tight and opened up the other end. It's definitely easier to fill a tube from the large end, especially if you have something to pump the paste with, like a syringe. After that, all you have to do is seal them tight so that the paste will not leak. Aha! Today, toothpaste tubes are filled using machines. All the empty tubes are lined up on a conveyor belt with their cap downward and the unsealed and pointing up. A big container filled with toothpaste is fixed above the conveyor belt. From a nozzle at the bottom of the container, the toothpaste is let into each of these tubes as they move along the conveyor belt. But the paste is not filled all the way to the brim. About half an inch is left so that it can be sealed. Now the tube is ready to be squeezed. Fun with toothpaste caps. 
you can play tic tac toe, or you can make a tower, or you can make a snake or caterpillar, or you can paint with it. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. Hit the bell to get notifications of my videos.